Hello Taurus and welcome to your December 2020 future love reading. This is for Taurus. Taurus, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Taurus, this is for you. We are going to see what is going on with your future love. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. What is going on with their future love? What is going on with their future love? Let's see. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this person is trying to heal themselves, right? And it's going to take them some time. Um, they know they have to um, dive deep into this. Could be some recovery going on here um, with addiction. That's for some of you, not all of you. But they have to... Um, figure out what's going on with them here, Taurus, right? And worth waiting for. They know if they came to you right now in the, in the emotional um, and maybe even physical state that they are in, they, uh, you would not accept them back into your heart. So they have to change and they know that. They have to um, get rid of some of these um, demons here, Taurus. So let's see what is going on. And I do feel like there's a little bit of an obsession with you as well. But they're going to try to heal not only for themselves, um, but for you as well. So let's see what's going on with your future love, Taurus. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with their future love? what is going on okay they know they disappointed you they can't move past you they want to come to you the right way there's a lot of hurt and pain here and you are not speaking to them um so they know they have to change um there was an ending here they betrayed you they hurt you and now there's no communication here between the two of you at all um, they're going to try to better themselves, like I said before, get rid of some of these demons that plague them. Um, and whatever those, you know, uh, demons are, the, the list of toxic behaviors goes on and on. Could be addiction, could be um, just some deep-seated issues that they have to work out. Okay, um, so they're going to try to change. They're tra trying to transform their life, and they hope that you will be there for them. Um, for some of you, this person may actually be um, in jail. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there. That's for some of you that seems very specific, um, but they know that they have to change. And when they do reemerge, right when they do come back around they want to come to you healed and whole and they want to come to you the right way and they want to show you that they've changed so they're hoping that you will still be there okay so death to old ways and new beginnings this person knows that they have to change if they have any kind of shot with you you could be dealing with a scorpio or somebody with strong scorpio 
in their chart. They want to return to you here, Taurus. They think about you. They think about all the good times. They're reminiscing. Um, they're very um, melancholy right now. Um, they're, they're very deep in their sadness at the moment. Um, depression even over this whole situation. But they know that um, it's up to them. It's up to them. They have to change for themselves. They have to heal themselves in order to reconnect with you. Get back to this soul energy that they felt with you. Right? Because they're pretty, they're pretty lost. Six of Cups, that is water energy. Um, when they do come back, you're not going to be expecting this. Right? I feel like it's going to take them some time to do the things that they do need to do to clear some of these obstacles to get into the emotional spiritual and physical physical shape that they need to get into right um maybe even financial here so when they come back um they're going to come back in an unexpected uh way so just know that knight of swords that is um, air energy and they're going to come back um, towards you with a lot of truth here so they're definitely trying to improve they're trying to step up their game they're trying to be the person that they know that they need to be um, not only for themselves but for you so they're trying to battle these demons so that they can get back to you and they can be the person um, they know that they can be male or female doesn't matter and they, you know, they want to be the person that gives you the, the offers that you deserve. They know you deserve better. So King of Pentacles here, um, that is Earth energy. Male or female doesn't matter. The energy of the King of Pentacles is stable, is steady, is grounded, is loyal, is dedicated. And is somebody that can provide those kinds of offers, right? And that is probably what you're looking for because that is your headspace at, as well. All right, Taurus, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with in the future, right? Future love read. If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so however it resonates with you it's a general reading so you assign the roles as you wish so regret disappointment they know they hurt you they know they brought your energy down with this five of cups and um they they regret what went down here this ending that happened it was um feels very chaotic uh, very um, destructive here. Um, Eight of Swords. It's air energy. Um, like I said, for some of you, this, this person could have went, went to jail. That's for some of you, not all of you. Um, but they are thinking about this heavily. They can't move on from this. They want to fix this. Their thoughts are of you. you surrounded by you. And wanting to be better wanting to be better so they are not letting this um, codependency you know to me this is very much um, the devil card in the tarot they're not going to let that type of behavior that toxic behavior hold them back any longer they've made this decision here so ace of pentacles they want to come to you the exact right way they want to start fresh they want you to see them in a completely different light they're going to prove it they're going to show it very grounded this is the start of something real and this is the energy that wants to give it to you so they're trying to step up they're trying to grow up they're trying to release um their demons basically so Ace of Pentacles, they want to come to you the right way. It's going to take them some time to get correct. But when they are correct, they're going to come to you correctly with that Ace of Pentacles there. Um, they know they hurt you. Betrayed you. Um, it was a, a painful ending. They didn't want it to end, but 
whatever went down here was seems pretty bad. So um, they hurt you and they regret it. I mean, bottom line there, Taurus, with that Ten of Swords. They know they stabbed you in the back here. So they're working on themselves during this break in the action. Um, during this period of quiet, they are uh, kind of going to their separate corner here. And a lot of, I feel like they're doing recovery work, counseling even, right? With this Four of Swords here. They're doing a lot of reflecting and thinking about how they can get stable, emotionally stable, financially stable, uh, physically stable, um, improving and changing and transforming in every aspect of their life because they know they need to. They know they need to um, because if they continue down this path, it's going to be nothing but destruction over and over and over for them. And they don't want that for themselves. And they certainly don't want that for you. So they're healing. And they're quiet. Um, and when they're ready, they're hoping you will still be there and open to receive them. A lot of swords here. Any more information in regards to what's going on with... Um, Taurus and their future love. What is going on with their future love? This is for Taurus. What is going on with their future love? You're very defensive against this person. Um, they feel like you're moving on. They're manifesting, but there's a lot of waiting here. So they're trying to create a positive shift for themselves so that they can create a positive change in your relationship with this Wheel of Fortune. They feel like God, the universe, Jesus, whoever they're working with is on their side here and things are going to change. They're trying to change. They're trying to get some positivity. They're trying to make better choices. Um, they're doing all the things that they need to do to get back to you. All right. Um, you're standing your ground on this one. You're not going to tolerate anything from this person until they do completely change um, because it was so difficult and so hard and so painful. So they know that you are very defensive against them. And if they tried to come back to you right now, it simply would not work. You would not accept them at this time. So seven of wands, this is fire energy. You've blocked them. Um, in every which way you possibly can block them and they feel um, shut out by you even though you know they can't move on from this um, they still think about you surrounded by thoughts of you um, they feel pretty lost and alone right now Taurus um, and they they know that <sighs> In order for them to come back in from out of the cold, they have to transform their life completely. So they're they're pretty lost right now, and it's it's almost like they're going through this whole journey um, to find themselves and to find the real them, right? Because a lot of this negative energy that surrounds this person. It, I feel like it has a lot of influence over them. So they're trying to find the real them um, and be that person that they know that they can be, that, that you know that they can be. Um, and they don't want, um, they don't want, they don't want to continue on this path because they've been so damaged before in their past and they they just continue to leave a path of destruction because they've been so hurt and it could go way, way back to childhood and, and just they've been so hurt before and they take that out on other people around them and they, they're starting to realize that and they, they don't want to do that anymore. It's not getting them anywhere and they're, they're very unhappy. So they're trying to find their true self here. Um, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, right? They're hoping that the two of you, when the time is right, can leave the past behind. 
this dramatic past and find peace in the situation and start completely over. And I do feel like they're going to travel towards you when the time is right. Um, they're manifesting a completely different outcome than, than what happened here. They, they want new and they're creating um, the person that they want to be, right? So they're uh, praying, they're doing affirmations. I feel like they're doing counseling. I feel like they're really going deep here. They're pulling from all the elements and they're trying to create the person that they want to be, the person that they know they can be so that they can have a better life, number one, for themselves and a better life with you, right? That's the ultimate goal here. Um, there's going to be some waiting involved. This is going to take some time and they're going to hope that you are going to be there when this quiet period is over and they feel ready to kind of reemerge from this recovery, from, from this search that they're on, this journey that they're on. So the hangman, um, they're hoping you will be there. I don't think they expect you to wait around for them. I don't feel like you're going to. I feel like, you know, you may move on and explore different energies here. Um, and that could be what this is all about. You may be moving on to something else, but they're hoping that, you know, when they do come back around, no matter who you're with or what you're doing, um, you will be open to receive them, Taurus. So um, that is what's going on with your future love. Kind of a deep reading here, a little intense. Could be for some of you, not all of you, but it's what's on the table. So that's what I had to read. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links that I provide because there are some imposters out there. Um, Taurus. Um, next week I'll be working on the big monthly reading, so check that out. And then, um, what else? For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day, but, um, Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time, so check all of that out. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you're taking very good care of yourself. And I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there, Taurus. You guys take very good care. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.